Hi, it's Dina, Warthog Princess, and welcome back for part two of my Harry Potter haul. I actually should have waited before I started filming today because sure enough, the other stuff showed up. Well, one of the two things that's on order. So the Harry Potter HP tote is not here yet, probably will not be here till next week, but the robe showed up along with a bunch of bomb bomb medallions. So let's look at this. Um, it's it's the giant size because I'm giant size. And, but anyway, I like them nice and loose because I like to layer things under or whatever. I like not to be confined by my robe. Um, but yeah, it's vibrant colors like the throw. So they do stand out a little bit more. They pop a little bit more than on the, the cotton totes. It's not the same material as the throw. It's very, very similar though. But the print is scaled down compared to the blanket, of course. So it, they did a really good job with sizing and proportions of the pattern itself. When I first looked at this tag, I thought, oh, it's another new tag. No, it's the regular tag, but it's just folded backwards. The second one that was like that, because um, it's supposed to be this way. So you have the nice golden Vera Bradley and Harry Potter on the front, and then you have the glimpse of the pattern in the window. Anyways, I don't know why it was folded backwards, but silly, silly attention to detail kind of important but yeah so the robe it is a hooded fleece robe so it has a nice generous hood very comfy very cozy very fun so that's the Harry Potter robe um we're not going to talk all about the pattern because I'll link the the Vera Harry Potter haul right here because we just did that and that goes a lot into detail on the pattern itself but let's look at the bomb bomb medallion I did get um the wide lanyard so this is not my first wide lanyard because I did get the rose quartz one, which was um, kind of a canvas weave with silver threads and it was double sided, which was great. This one, of course, is double sided as well, but this is cotton. It is the Bon Bon medallion pattern. The cool thing about this is it's cotton cotton. So it's basically the same construction, the same hardware, the same everything as the normal lanyards, but it's wide. So it just gives you a different look, a different feel. Um, it's quite nice. So I, I just wanted to get one just to try. I'm, I don't need to stock up on wide lanyards from here forward, but I thought just, you know, a taste would be good and a multicolored taste at that. So that's why I got the, the lanyard. Very nice. I think it'll be quite comfortable and fun to wear. Also, I got a zip ID. And in this case, I elected to go with the RFID Deluxe Zip ID because I do, I don't have a bunch of Bon Bon Medallion. I'm probably not going to go too deep into it, but I did want to have a few things and I wanted something to go with my lanyard. So I can't remember if I have a regular Zip ID or not. I don't think so. But anyway, I know I didn't have this one. And this is RFID. So as I'm often running around with just a quick grab and go wallet, um, having it be RFID is, is an advantage for sure. So the Deluxe has a two-sided clear window, so you can put two different IDs there, and the entrance is on the inside, so it's not going to fall out from the outside. Additionally, you have two more card slots here. Of course, you can put more than two cards in them. You just stuff them as you see fit. And then it's a snap closure right there. And then the rest of it is essentially just a basic zip ID. And, oops, I just got the tag in there. But you open it up and you have, even though you don't have a clear window, you do still have a divider. So you have two compartments in there. So you could like fold up some dollars or put some coins in one side, you know, whatever you want to do there. Um, so that's the option, regular loop. So it doesn't have a quick release on the loop, but there is a hook on here. So you can still have, yeah, like that. So that's cool. And then I got, uh, well, here, let's see what we got. We got a card, because I did a phone order. It says, thank you for shopping with us at Mayfair, Michelle. Enjoy your new pretty Vera items, Team Mayfair. Thank you. So that's really lovely, nice little thought. And then they also included this Vera Bradley Backpack and Lunch Guide, Back to School 2020. And it's just a little pamphlet. I love these. I always save them because they're great to reference later. Um, this one says, you asked, we listened, and then it shows some of their redesigned features on the backpacks. And then here's your lunch bag options, and it just puts them side by side and gives you the information, the comparison. 
you can actually put these together online. You can do up to four items on Vera's website and compare them. It's kind of like that. It's the same basic info. Capacity, fabric, you know, pockets, what features it has. And usually on Vera's thing, it has a cost on here that's also in the top. But inside it has the line of backpacks and um, it's quite an extensive spectrum from small to large or extra large on that side. So great reference. And um, in some other videos today, we'll be looking at some of the backpacks. So stay tuned for that if you're interested by special request. All right, so what else do we get in the haul? Well, speaking of backpacks, I did get a extra large campus backpack in Bum Bum Medallion. And this is one of those ones where you cannot go wrong with pattern placement because it's just a beautiful pattern and it's, it's kind of busy, but not a bad busy, it's, it's just busy. But anyway, um, you can't go wrong with pattern placement, but you can get better according to your preferences because some parts of the pattern, like this medallion here, have a little bit more of the black, so they're a little bit darker part of the spectrum. And then some of the other parts, which still have some black, um, are just a little bit lighter uh, overall, a look to them. So um, it's a giant medallion and it kind of extends. So in this case, I chose um, I had a couple to pick from, and I chose this one with an offset medallion because I didn't want it to be centered. I actually kind of like it offset so that you get to see some of the other part. And this shows like a symmetrical piece of it over here. So I just, I really like that. I think the silver zipper looks really sharp on there. But realize though, this is important. There are two formations, two styles of the extra large campus backpack. Vera's in a transition. I don't know if it's testing the new style or phasing in the new style, I'm not certain. But I am not a fan of the new style, so I had to be very careful when I ordered it to be clear about which one I wanted, because I was on the phone. When you go into the store, it's obvious because you, you can pick what you want right there, but they have the same SKU, the same number. When you go on Vera's website, look up this exact backpack, the Bon Bon Medallion Extra Large Campus Backpack, and in the pictures on the left side, you'll see one of the pictures looks like this, and another front backpack picture is the other version. So whichever one you like, they are different, just FYI. So a little tidbit there, but I am a fan of the older style. So I like, I like this big pocket right here, this hidden pocket that goes all the way to the bottom. It's a nice big pocket. And I didn't want to give that up for that other one has a little zipper pocket up. I don't like it. So the campus backpack, nice. PT zipper on there with the faux metal look. It's got the Bon Bon Ditsy inside. And it's, you know, it's just also, it's just busy, busy, busy. But I, I say that like it's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I like this busy, actually. And the colors are, are very lovely. It's like pastel pink and teal. And it's not a mint, it's more of a teal. But it's lovely with the yellow. But there's your inside, outside. Um, standard configuration, two big slips two more big, well, one big slip here and an ID, and then three pen slots and a smaller slip, and then you have space in the pocket there. It is a single zipper, a U shape up and around. We already talked about this pocket. And then you have two main compartments, double zipper on both. So your front one, you open it up and it has no, no organization, but this is your main pocket. So this one goes, hold on, where's that? So from there to there. So you can see that the rear compartment has this much and then the laptop compartment has this much. So there you go. The next compartment, your second main compartment or your aft main compartment, double zipper. And inside this one, you have your scent strip. <laughs> but you got your two mesh pockets up top and then you have the big slip in front of those. And the big slip goes to the bottom, the mesh ones go about halfway down standard here's standard um, and again just for reference your this section is about this big oh, where's my finger right there so it's a, about an inch inch and a half so your second part is a little smaller than the first one and then behind that you have a double zipper symmetrical zipper unlike the campuses we've been seeing this one is symmetrical end to end and there's your laptop compartment this is padded from and back and as Per norm, they're um, nylon inside the laptop compartment. 
And since it's an extra large, this will fit huge laptops. Um, I think mine's a seventh, sixteen. Anyways, it fits the big ones. All right, on the back, you have a carriage handle. It is the canvas type, not the seatbelt type. It's not slicky nylon, it's like a cotton. And it has a little bit of faux leather edging to it, you can see right there. So it's a good grab on there. And then you have chest straps with an adjustable slide on there. You can see where I'm sliding down this arc. So you can slide it all the way down, which is where I worked. And then it's adjustable laterally as well. So you can unclip that. And behind it, you have your trolley sleeve, which is pretty robust, but always narrow. Um, I haven't tried this on the trolley sleeve. I mean, on the trolley handle. I think it'll work. It is padded, though. A little bit of padding there and padding there. And then the straps are ergonomic shape. And I just want to strap that back up. Also on the back, you have the side pocket right here, which is quite large. You could fit a small tablet in here quite easily. Um, my tablet wouldn't fit, but maybe my old iPad might. But anyway, it's a nice big pocket there, and it's about from here to here, all the way across. About the length of the zipper. Two big cargo pockets on the sides, and pretty much your standard extra large campus, but in a beautiful bomb bomb medallion. Okay, then I got a luggage tag, because I always get a luggage tag in my backpacks. So this is just another snippet of it, again, an offset medallion, but you can see how that snippet is a little bit darker medallion. It's fine, it looks great, and it goes good with the bag. Then I got the napkins from Floating Garden, and this is a mixed stack. It's four napkins. I think it's 20 bucks. Yeah, 20, same as the, the red, white, and blossom. $20 for four napkins. You get two of the Floating Garden, and then two of the interior pattern, so two and two. The reason I got these, I don't, I don't have a need for them. They do go with my navy blue, but not really gonna use it for the table at all. I'm going to take these four napkins, open them up, and sew them into a little knapsack, like a drawstring knapsack. And I'm gonna make that knapsack the cover for my weighted blanket. So when I'm not using it, I'll put it in its little knapsack and then put it in the cover. I love that blanket, by the way. I use it all the time. So, tough to wash, though. You need a heavy-duty washer. And I got the 10-pounder so that I would maybe be able to wash it, but they're not actually supposed to go in the wash, so I haven't figured that out yet. Then I got the clipboard folio in Itsy Ditsy. Um, I do like this pattern. I, I love that. Here, we can take this out of the plastic. I have several of these. I haven't really started using them yet because I have some generic ones I'm using first, but I'm always taking notes, making plans, to-do lists, things like that. Um, but this is a lovely pattern. I don't like it when they put these stickers right on the product. Can you have the plastic put on the dang plastic so that you're not ruining the... Oh, see, because then you get goopy stuff. Yeah, but at least they do come off pretty well. I'll just put on the plastic because I don't need that anymore. And then one on the back as well. And then we'll look at the item as soon as I get this sticker off. Sorry, I should have opened that up before we started, but I was so excited. It's just a crazy busy video day, but two hauls in one day accidentally. I should have just waited. I knew I should have waited. And for some reason, I thought the other one wasn't coming until Monday, but here it came. So, all right. So on the front, you have the clip. It is the low profile clipboard. So it's, I mean, it's still a little bit popped out from the, the folio, but it's small and it grips your paper really well. You also have an elastic pen or pencil holder right there on the edge. And then inside you have a pocket. This is cardboard construction, but it's pretty decent. These pockets are, they're okay, but they are paper. So you just gotta be a little bit careful if you overstuff them, that's gonna rip really quickly on the edge. Um, but you have a nice pad of paper. Um, it doesn't say it doesn't say whether it's college ruled. It looks like it's not, but yeah. Also, this notepad does not have holes pre-punched. So if you want to put it into a binder, you might consider punching the holes first. It's kind of thick, so you need a robust punch. Um, but when this pad runs out, you can take that out and you can put another pad in. So as long as this is still 
survived, you can keep using it with additional notepads. So really any legal pad. And like I said, for me, I'll replace it with one that has holes already punched because I'm, I like to stay organized. So I'm gonna take those papers, whatever notes, sometimes I save them. So there we go. And that is the last item for this haul, but a lot more videos to come today. So stay tuned for more. And while I'm thinking of it, be sure to subscribe because 58% of my viewers are not subscribed. That's okay. But you can only win in the giveaway at a thousand subscribers if you're one of them. So subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.